and welcome to my very first review of an Ultimate Saturn V Rocket Playset. I got this thing from spacetoys.com and um, and there's actually two people on, on um, YouTube who review this thing but they didn't review the packaging and I think they were Keyblade Flare and Junior Bit 10. So, also they reviewed it in low lighting, so might as well do it for you people right now. Of course, it's a yeah, pretty detailed box of Saturn V rocket on the front there with the launch tower. Authentic launch sounds and vibrations. Three feet tall. Let's look at the other side. Side of the box. Back of the box. It's into eight pieces. And also on the front, I have a little try me hole. And also on the front, there's a bit of a flap you can open. Mine's broken, but you know. And of course, that, that's what's all the contents that you get. And I'll take it out of the box and show it to you people. And here's what you get in the box. Looks pretty cool. And unfortunately, you have to put these three things on, on, your, on yourself. And of course, it comes with a moon plate or a moon base. And I'm a little disappointed because on the second stage, the ring doesn't come off. A guy that's reasonable. Because I, you know, the ring might get lost or broken, and yeah. And of course, you've got a bit of a. I call it the actual manual, but you can see they call it the astronaut train manual. Pretty good reads, actually, yeah, quite interesting. And in, um, now I'll put this together and see. And here we are the old Sun Fire Rocket in all its glory. Now, when I've got this, I thought it would be uh, just a little bit small, but, you know, rings of grinners. So, yep. If any of you people want to know what the escape tower is actually for, I'll tell you. Because if there was anything wrong with any of the Saturn V launches, the escape tower would come off and separate from the and would separate from the actual rocket itself, detach, and return the astronaut safely back to Earth. Oh, yeah, it's like there. And, and down here, there's a button. What does the button do? Well, I'll show you. Wasn't that awesome? Now let's pretend the rockets just took off from the Earth. At 2 minutes and 25 seconds, the first stage, which is this, this will run out of fuel and then disconnect and fall safely back to Earth. And then the, se the second stage will fire. And this ring right here from there will come off and that will... Well, these blade rockets. And at three and a half minutes, the... It won't, won't be coming off. Yep. For seven minutes, the second stage will fall off. And here it is, the S4B. And yet, they'll all night and 
carry the astronauts into Earth orbit. This thing will fly around the Earth about, I don't know, one and a half times. As soon as this will be which is out onto the moon, the command service module and this will be will separate. Leaving this inside. The old LEM. What they'll now do is is uh, command module turn around and then dock with the LEM. And then the astronauts will pull the LEM out, out of the S will be and they'll be on their way to the moon. Now when they get ready to land on the moon, two astronauts will come into command service module. Sorry, a LEM. A LEM will detach. Like so. And its legs will come out. Like so. Sorry about this guys, but And it'll just fly around the moon, down to the moon. Land. We'll stay on the moon for you know, a day and a half. Should be in the way. And then the and the ascent stage will separate on the one half and then fly back to the one service module. And of course they'll dock like that. When the was prepared, they'll jettison this and fly back to Earth. Oh, that's the um, antenna they use to communicate with Earth. And when they get very, very close to Earth, they jettison the capsule. 